Hey guys, welcome to day 9 of Lent, and today we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 3 verses 9 through 20. And before we get into that, I want to remind you guys of a passage from John chapter 8. Um, and it's about the adulteress who was caught, and she was to be stoned. And the crowd around her that was trying to stone her, they, uh, they can try to convince Jesus to agree with them and be like, Hey yeah, let's stone this girl, right? But instead of doing that, Jesus actually says, let he who hasn't sinned throw the first stone. And instead of people, you know, stoning her, they realize, like, they've all sinned, right? And they turn away and they leave. So going back to Romans, um, there's two main points that I want to bring up. And the first one we can see really in verses 9 through 18. Uh, so basically, it's really just saying we're all sinners, none of us are righteous. And that that's definitely true, right? We've all sinned, and we've all fallen short of the glory of God. It's no secret, it's nothing to be ashamed of. And the second point, and the one that I liked the most, um, it mentions the laws, right? And if we think back to Deuteronomy and Numbers, Right, we just have like pages upon pages of just random laws that we don't even know what they mean half the time, right? So I think like one of the fundamental problems with that is how we look at it. Because a lot of times we we see it and we're like, oh, it's a rule book. This, these are like things that we, like this is God like limiting us, right? But in reality, it's more of, one, we become conscious to our sins, right? And two, it shows God's grace in that none of us are worthy of the kingdom of heaven. None of us are worthy of salvation or his grace or his love or anything that he's given us. But he still gave it to us. So as I leave here today, I just want you guys to think about that. Go read the passage on your own. And I have a good rest of the day.